What's going on Security Ninjas? Samuel here and I like to hack things. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the SysP and how I passed it in one month and how I think you can pass it. I'll be giving you three tips that I think helped me pass it in one month and I believe can actually help you do it as well. So keep in mind that ISC Squared recommends that you have several years of experience before attempting to take the SysP, but you can also go the associate route where you take the test with very little experience in the actual industry of the, or the various domains and then become an associate SysP. And this allows you to, as you build up experience throughout your career, apply that experience to your SysP certification and then eventually become a full-fledged SysP. In addition to the three tips that I think can help you pass the SysP in one month, I'm also going to be giving away some study material, one of my favorite books that helped me pass it. The Cybex book is what I would actually recommend for anyone looking to take the SysP. So keep in mind, this is the older edition, but I'll be giving away a copy of the newer edition. Okay, so let's talk about conquering the SysP with little amount of experience, right? So this comes down to a personal choice. So if you feel comfortable with the various domains or you feel comfortable with your study plan that you think you can tackle the SysP exam with minimal experience in the security industry, I say go for it. Just make sure you have a solid foundation and that you're ready to go on test day. So let's jump into the three tips that I think can help you pass the SysP. So number one, you're going to want a great book or a great resource in the form of reading material, whether that be physical copy or digital. And this is very important because you wanna be able to reference the various domains in those books that coincide with those of the SysP certification. And like I mentioned, I very much recommend the Cybex book because it's one of the top ones out there. My bootcamp instructor that I went to actually recommended it as well. It's such a great book. It has several questions after every chapter. And then what's cool is you can actually buy an additional book that gives you various exam questions. They're not close to the real thing um, because you know no one knows what they're gonna look like until you actually take the test. And of course, that would go against ISC Squared's ethics to sell those questions, the ones you saw on the test. So the questions you see in the Cybex books, they're more definition focused, right? So what is this or what is that? What's How does this play into this framework? Or what are the five pieces of this framework? So keep that in mind whenever you're using the Cybex as a study resource when it comes to practice questions. So number two, in addition to a great book, you're going to need a learning resource. So I was very fortunate to actually take a boot camp, but to be honest, you know, boot camps are expensive. Let's go ahead and throw that out there. But by the end of each day, I was so mentally drained because it was just information after information, hammering the concepts over and over again for eight to nine hours a day for a week straight. And depending on your level of experience or how much exposure you had to those domains, that may be overkill. So you may need to, maybe, maybe you need to readjust your study plan and kind of go from there. But if you don't want to spend the money on a boot camp or you don't want to take a week off of work to take a boot camp, I recommend the videos from Cybrary. I believe they cost some money nowadays, but that's okay when you compare what you can actually gain from getting a SysP certification. So look into Kelly Handerhan's videos. I probably listened to those eight hours a day sometimes while I was working at work or on the way to work, driving back and forth. Just whenever I had a spare moment, I was listening to her videos, driving those concepts home over and over again. And it's interesting because it's not really brute force memorization, right? So number three, so I've mentioned practice tests along with books, right? So for minimal money, $100, you can get the boson practice test. And these are usually the highest rated practice tests you can get, uh, ethical rated practice tests that you can get when it comes to uh, ISC squared or SysP tests. They do have other uh, practice exams for other courses or other certifications. So if you're interested in those, check those out. And of course, these are all legal questions. They're not some sketchy scam, um, but keep in mind that when you do practice tests, you have the tendency to do them over and over again, right? 
because you're trying to learn the concepts and that's okay. But what I've seen happen is a lot of people get that kind of format ingrained in their mind. So when they go to take the real test on any certification, they kind of freak out because they're like, oh, what am I looking at? Um, so keep that in mind. But as far as realism, I really enjoyed the boson questions because it, instead of that definition answer, you know, what is X? Here's the definition for X like you may get for the Cybex or the other books. The boson questions are more situational, more real world. And I, I really like that when it's when it comes to learning several domains that apply to the real world or may apply to your actually job your actual job day in and day out. So keep that in mind. And of course, there are other resources out there, various books besides Cybex. So check those out on various websites. Um, and even check out uh, several video streaming sites. Like, of course, YouTube has uh, plenty of free resources when it comes to studying. Uh, check out Udemy. Those are a great resource or plural site if you want to pay a little extra money. And of course, Udemy courses do cost money as well. So I wanted to leave you with a few final thoughts. Uh, so let's cover the three things. First, you're going to want a great book. Number two, you're going to want a great learning resource. And that's in addition to the book. So a video series so you can kind of get that visual learning stimulated. And number three, you're, want, you're going to want a great practice test question bank. So go the legal route, go with Boson or the various other books you can get that have practice questions that are actually certified by SC Squared. And that's great because you know the information is legit and you're getting the real deal. And so the final thoughts before you actually take the test. On test day, you know, cliche of course, everyone says this, try not to freak out too much, try not to stress out too much, um, but we all, we all know it's gonna happen. Uh, I certainly got really nervous during the test, um, but that's okay, right? Because, you know, at the end of the day, it comes down to how well you studied and how well you formulated your study plan and did you stick to it or not. And so keep that in mind. So I took the test in a month. I took a boot camp. I studied for a month straight, listened to videos, took practice tests, and then went in there and passed the test. So that may work for you, and I hope it does. So make sure you have a solid study plan, regardless if you're taking it in one month, six months, or even a year. Just try not to get too burned out with that information. And so when you're actually taking the test, I want you to read the questions and the answers several times. Make sure you're not getting tripped up on the wording of something or getting misled on a different framework or one of the other various key points of a, of a domain in this exam. And just like with other multiple choice tests, try to eliminate two questions out of the four. And that can really help you when it comes down to solving the question that you seriously don't know, but you know it's one of the two, right? And when you get in that situation where you're stuck between two, try to put on your managerial hat or your risk manager hat and you know think about it from that perspective. And once again, you're probably wondering, how do I win the free material? How do I win this giveaway so I can get started on my CISP journey? All you have to do in the comments below is do hashtag CISP giveaway. And I think about three months time, I'll put the exact details in the description of this video of when the giveaway will take place so that you have plenty of time to get your your CISP giveaway hashtag in the comment section and everyone has a chance to enter and win. And I guess if we get enough entries, I might give away two books so that two people have a better shot of passing this test or a better shot of making a more detailed study plan with more resources available to them. All right, Security Ninjas, thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a good opportunity to take this test and I hope you pass it. So please follow the three tips I provided in this video and I'll talk to you soon.